Hello friends, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in previous videos, we have seen that one how we can connect a snow flag to Azure and uh, ingest some data from one place to another place. Continuing that one, we are going to see in this video that how we can ingest data to Azure Cosmos from a Snowflake table. And we are going to use the same Azure Data Factory. So this video will have some connectors and link services created into previous video. So I will recommend to watch that one also if you don't understand that one. So uh, we all know that uh, Azure Cosmos DB is no SQL database offering pro from Azure Cloud Platform. And it is widely available in global database and, and it supports a lot of different API flavors like you can connect using for MangoDB or Cassandra kind of API also for this one. And another we, we know that Snowflake is a new offering for warehousing and that is a great platform. So how we can integrate this both platform and how we can uh, pull data from one source to another source. So that, that is what we are going to see in this video. So in this video, uh, we are going to try the ingestion from Snowflake to Cosmos DB. Let's see how it works. And we are going to use SQL API. So. And let's use the account key information. So key, I'm going to grab this primary key and I can grab the Cosmos DB name. Okay. 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 So yeah, test connection. If I went have manually, then we have to provide the key. So once our Cosmos DB linked service is created, we can go and see that creation of the pipeline, right? So let's do that one. Snow flag to Cosmos. And we can use the copy data activity. And we can go for source. And source we have already, uh, and we can explain this one. This was the test table. And if we preview the data, because in earlier demo video, we had added a Snowflake's uh, linked service and uh, data set. So that is that. Uh, and if we go want to go and see this one from a Snowflake, this is the table. And this has only one record into this one. So this is one. Now we can go ahead and create the sync one. Sync one, we have blob and other things. We do not have any data set for cosmos so we can go ahead and select that cosmos api one and in cosmos let it be default name api collection let's use this connection uh, link service which we created and collection name is this one so this is that we do not have import schema and other things so let it be right now and now if we go into this one it will not work because it says that there will be some, let me pub, try to publish. So it says the direct copying data from Snowflake is only supported in sync data set is this one. We have this um, JSON and other, but with blob storage linked service. For other, we have to enable staging. So for enabling staging, we can go ahead in setting and we can enable staging. If we enable staging, we need to provide one blob storage connection. So let me create one more blob storage connection blob stage and then we can go and use the sas uri one and let's go and let's generate one uh, with all the services for now and i'm going to use this one okay now let's test connection test connection is succeeded and which is the storage path we are going to use the storage path for a stage and then let's publish this one what it says, okay. So what it will do that it will 
pick from a snow flag, push into a jute blob for a st stage, and from a jute stage uh, blob to push to Cosmos by changing a little bit file and uh, schema details and other things because Cosmos is contains in JSON and this is in tabular view. So that data relational view to that data, it has to transform. So let's see that one. Let me trigger this one. And let's see, it might fail because we have not provided that which type of copy behavior it is going to use. So let's see that. Okay, so it is queued right now. It is in progress right now. So if you see, this is what I told, right? Snow flag to Azure blob, blob storage and then Cosmos. So it succeeded to put into blob and now it is writing into Cosmos DB. Let's see it succeeds or fails, right? So it has to transform the data. If we go into our stage and then if we try to see this one, if something is there present or they are not. So in a stage, there is nothing. Maybe it succeeded or deleted. Let's see this one. So it is succeeded right now. So let's go and see into our Cosmos DB that do we have anything on this one or not? Right. So this is our Cosmos DB. This is the test collection and there should be one record now in this one. So if you see this one, this is the one record with first name and last name is there. So this is how that injection is looks like snowflake to Cosmos. So that way we can reverse also that uh, sync can be Cosmos and uh, sync can be snowflake and source can be Cosmos. So that way we can also see this one that is happening.